Chapter 4, Feminization Surgeries As the effects of HRT started to become more prominent, Sarah decided it was time for Jack to undergo feminizing surgeries as well. She had done her research and found a reputable plastic surgeon who specialized in gender confirmation procedures. After consultations and careful consideration, they decided on several key surgeries that would help bring out Jack's inner woman. The first surgery was facial feminization, which involved shaving down the chin, nose reshaping, and brow lift to create softer features typically associated with female faces. During this procedure, Sarah held Jack's hand throughout while he lay on the operating table, his eyes closed as the anesthesia took effect. She whispered words of encouragement and love into his ear, letting him know how proud she was of his courage and determination. After a successful facial feminization surgery, it was time for breast augmentation. Jack anxiously awaited this next step in his transition journey as he watched his chest grow fuller with each passing day after the procedure. He felt like a woman blossoming before his own eyes, and Sarah couldn't help but admire the beauty of her husband's newfound femininity. Finally, there was genital reconstructive surgery, a delicate and life-changing operation that would transform Jack's male anatomy into female genitals. As they prepared for this procedure, Sarah held him close, reminding him that no matter what happened during or after the surgery, she loved him unconditionally and supported his decision to live authentically as a woman. Each surgery brought new challenges both physically and emotionally for Jack. He had to deal with painful recovery periods, discomfort during adjustments to his changing body, and even some moments of self-doubt about whether he was making the right choices. But through it all, Sarah remained by his side, offering love and support every step of the way. She helped him bathe, change dressings, and administer medications when needed, she was his rock during these difficult times. As Jack's body continued to change after each surgery, he felt more connected to his true self than ever before. He looked at himself in the mirror and saw a beautiful woman staring back at him, someone who had been there all along but just needed some help revealing herself. With Sarah by his side every step of the way, Jack knew that he could face any challenge that came with transitioning because she would be there to support and guide him through it all. In conclusion, feminization surgeries played a significant role in bringing out Jack's inner woman while strengthening their bond as partners. Through it all, Sarah remained steadfast in her love and commitment to Jack, proving that true love knows no gender boundaries. Chapter 5, Accepting His New Identity As Jack recovered from each surgery and continued his hormone therapy, he began to feel more comfortable in his own skin than ever before. He embraced his new identity as a woman, choosing the name Jennifer for herself, Jenny for short. Sarah fully supported her daughter's journey, helping her pick out clothes that flattered her figure and encouraging her to explore makeup techniques to accentuate her features. Slowly but surely, Jack transformed into Jenny both inside and out. She started wearing dresses and skirts instead of jeans, she grew out her hair and learned how to style it in feminine ways, she even took up ballet classes as a way to improve her posture and grace. All these changes helped solidify her identity as a woman, making it easier for others around her to accept Jenny too. At school, while there were still whispers behind her back and occasional stares from curious classmates, most of them had grown accustomed to seeing Jenny dress differently and express herself with greater confidence. The principal granted permission for Jenny to use the girls' restroom and allowed her to switch from physical education classes to home economics. As months passed and Jenny's transformation continued, she began to feel more comfortable in her own skin than ever before. Her mental well-being also improved due to the changes brought about by HRT, bringing a sense of peace and contentment that had eluded him for so long. And while there was still much journey ahead, both physically and emotionally, Jenny knew that she was on the right path. With every passing day, she grew more confident in who she truly was, a strong woman with an unbreakable spirit and unwavering support from those around her. Chapter 6, Coming Out to Friends and Family Jenny was acutely aware that maintaining her transition a secret from friends and extended family members would be an impossible feat indefinitely. Hence, she decided on a gradual process of disclosure, commencing with close confidants before progressing on to more distant relatives. The reactions she received varied, some were unequivocally supportive while others struggled to comprehend or accept the news initially. Jenny remained stoic throughout these encounters, standing resolute in her identity and refusing to allow anyone to make her feel guilty for who she was. She persevered with time, patience, and education, 
Most individuals eventually acclimated themselves to Jenny's newfound identity as the stunning woman she had become. The first person Jenny confided in was her childhood best friend Sarah. They had been inseparable since grade school and shared a deep bond of trust. When they met for coffee, Jenny took a deep breath before broaching the topic, Sarah, she began hesitantly, there's something important I need to tell you. Sarah looked at her quizzically but remained silent, waiting patiently for Jenny to continue. Taking another moment to gather herself, Jenny finally blurted out, I'm transgender. The room fell into an eerie silence as the weight of those words hung in the air between them. After what felt like an eternity, Sarah spoke up softly, Are you sure? Her voice was filled with concern but also a hint of surprise. Jenny nodded, her eyes welling up with tears at this validation from someone so close to her heart. I understand, Sarah said after a long pause, reaching out to take Jenny's hand reassuringly. We'll figure this out together. From that moment on, their friendship only grew stronger as they navigated through the challenges of Jenny's transition together. Next up was Jenny's college friend group, a tight-knit circle that had supported each other through thick and thin since freshman year. They met at their usual hangout spot, a cozy diner tucked away in an obscure corner of town, where Jenny revealed her truth to them over milkshakes and fries. The room buzzed with shocked murmurs, followed by a brief silence as everyone processed the news. Then came the questions, how long have you known? Are you sure this is what you want? Do you need any help or support? Jenny took her time answering each query patiently and honestly, never once wavering from her conviction about who she was. By the end of their gathering, her friends had all rallied around her in support, promising to stand by her side throughout her journey. As Jenny progressed towards revealing herself to more distant relatives, she encountered varying levels of acceptance and understanding. Her aunt Susan, who lived across the country, was initially taken aback but eventually came around once she had time to process everything and educate herself on transgender issues. On the other hand, some cousins chose not to engage in conversation with Jenny at all after learning about her transition, an outcome that saddened yet didn't deter her from continuing down this path. With every difficult conversation or awkward silence, Jenny grew stronger, more determined than ever before to live authentically as the woman she was meant to be. She knew there would always be people who wouldn't understand or accept her for who she truly was, however, their opinions no longer held power over her happiness and self-worth. Jenny's coming out process proved challenging yet ultimately rewarding, each step paving the way towards a brighter future filled with love, support, and unwavering courage to be herself unapologetically. As she continued navigating through life as an openly transgender woman surrounded by those who embraced her for who she was, Jenny realized that coming out to friends and family had been one of the most significant milestones in her journey towards self-discovery and acceptance. Chapter 7, Finding Love As Jenny gradually became more at ease with herself, she started delving into the realm of dating. She joined online platforms explicitly crafted for transgender individuals seeking romantic connections, yearning to encounter someone who could comprehend and value her voyage. After numerous months of conversing with potential matches, Jenny encountered Daniel, a compassionate man working as an elementary school teacher. They swiftly formed a connection, bonding over mutual interests in literature and travel. As they grew closer, Daniel made it evident that he was entirely supportive of Jenny's transition and found her even more alluring due to the resilience she exemplified during her journey. With time, their relationship flourished until ultimately, Daniel popped the question. Overwhelmed by this remarkable milestone in her life, Jenny responded with an emphatic yes, without hesitation. Together, they began planning their dream wedding, one that commemorated love and acceptance above all else. Their nuptials were a beautiful celebration of diversity and unity, attended by family members, friends, and even some of their online dating community acquaintances who had become close allies throughout the process. On this joyous day, Jenny felt more confident than ever before in her decision to transition, not just because she found love but also because she learned to embrace herself for who she truly is. As time went on, Daniel and Jenny continued to build a life together full of unconditional support and understanding. They shared countless adventures exploring new places around the world while still cherishing every moment spent at home cuddling up with each other after long days at work or school, Daniel had decided to go back to get his master's degree. Although life wasn't always easy for them, they faced discrimination from others who didn't understand their relationship, Jenny and Daniel remained strong together, knowing that their love would conquer any obstacle thrown in their path. 
And so, as years passed by, their bond only grew stronger, proving once again that true love knows no bounds nor restrictions when it comes to gender identity or sexual orientation. In conclusion, despite the challenges she faced along her journey towards self-discovery and acceptance, Jenny eventually found happiness through finding true love with Daniel. Their story serves as an inspiration for others who may be struggling with similar issues, reminding us all that no matter how difficult life can seem sometimes, there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow filled with unconditional acceptance and everlasting love. Chapter 8, A New Beginning On the day of their wedding, the sun shone brightly over the lush green hills surrounding the small chapel. Inside, every nook and cranny was adorned with delicate white flowers that filled the room with a sweet fragrance. Jenny stood at the altar, her heart pounding in anticipation of what lay ahead. She gazed down at her reflection in the polished silver mirror, her face glowing with joy, framed by soft curls that cascaded over her shoulders from beneath a beautiful white lace veil. Her dress, an elegant creation of silk and tulle, flowed around her like a river of moonlight, its long train trailing behind her as she walked. In the pews before her sat family members who had accepted her transition with open hearts, friends who celebrated her courage, and colleagues who admired her perseverance. They were all gathered to witness this momentous occasion, Jenny's marriage to Daniel, the man who loved her for who she was, unconditionally. As the organist played the opening notes of Pachelbel's canon in D, Jenny felt a lump form in her throat. It wasn't fear or anxiety but rather the realization that she had finally arrived at this moment, a new beginning where she could freely embrace her identity as Jennifer and be loved for it. Daniel, looking dashing in his black tuxedo, appeared at the end of the aisle, his eyes meeting Jenny's with an expression filled with love and admiration. Together, they made their way towards each other, their hands clasped tightly as if to anchor them both in this momentous occasion. The priest began the ceremony, reciting words that resonated deeply within Jenny's heart, to love is to see a miracle invisible to others. And indeed, Daniel saw the miracle that was Jennifer, not just her physical transformation but also the journey of self-discovery and acceptance that brought them both here today. As he slipped the ring onto Jenny's finger, he whispered, I love you for who you are, always have, always will. Tears welled up in Jenny's eyes as they shared their first kiss as husband and wife. This was just the beginning of their journey together, but she knew that it would be one filled with joy, acceptance, and unconditional love. With a sense of triumphant relief, Jack's transformation into Jennifer had reached its completion, not only physically but emotionally as well. She had found peace within herself, embracing her feminine identity completely while also finding someone who loved her for exactly who she was. As they walked down the aisle hand in hand, Jenny knew that this was just the start of a beautiful new chapter in her life, one filled with love, acceptance, and boundless possibilities.